G'day folks, I'm Damon Olson from Nomad Sport Fishing. We're just going to run through how to rig uh, some soft plastics today. I've got a, a slam soft plastic here, it's got a two ounce jig head we're going to show you how to rig it on. We use soft plastics a lot out in the Coral Sea and they're really really effective for catching a huge variety of fish but whether you're fishing out in the Coral Sea or down in Port Phillip Bay for snapper or flathead or whatever, they're a really really effective way to catch fish. But the only thing is you need to know how to rig them properly or you're just not going to get them to swim. And you still might catch the odd fish on them, but rigging, a, rigging these soft plastics effectively really will catch you more fish. Now, this slam here, basically what we do, I usually just cut the head off these things mainly to align them with the jig head. This, this two ounce jig head's probably a little bit large for uh, you know fishing down in uh, southern areas in Australia, but some of the places we fish there's a fair bit of current so a two ounce jig head is probably what we generally use on this sort of uh, soft plastic. So usually I'll just cut the, the head off here with a pair of pliers and it's, it's all probably about there. So just maybe half an inch off the head and just cut it off there. And the idea with that is so that the, the head of the, the plastic kind of lines up with the thickness of the, uh, of the jig head. So this one's probably a little bit large for that, but we'll, uh, we'll run with it anyway, just so you can see it on camera there. Now, to rig these things, you wanna have the, you wanna have the belly down, so the, the, uh, the flap should be underneath. A lot of people rig these things with the, the hook facing upwards. Um, I've done that, you can still catch fish on them, but you really should be rigging them with the, uh, with the belly facing down. Um, they, uh, they will swim a little bit better when you rig them that way. Now, the main thing with this is to rig it up so that it's symmetrical. You want the hook going right up through the middle and to pop out in the right spot. And you don't want to have the soft plastic all squished up on the hook. You want it to just sit really nice and natural so it just sort of darts through the water. So just line her up, get a bit of an idea where you want the hook to come through. Just make a bit of a mark on the top there just so you sort of know roughly where you want it to come through. And then it's just a case of putting the hook centrally down the middle. With these ones with the, the belly open there, you can actually pop the hook out the middle. And uh, you see in here, you can actually pop the hook out the middle. I'll just open that up and show you. You can sort of pop the hook out the middle and slide it down the inside of the belly so it's not actually in the plastic the whole way down. The shank of the hook will actually sit in that belly section. I if I can sort of open it up there and you can just sort of see that. So I'll slide that down. Just get him in there like that. And it just allows you to, to basically pop the hook through there and you can sort of look at it and say, okay, that's about where I want my hook to come through on the top. And then you can just twist him through, slide it on, and there you go. That one's rigged up nicely. You can see that the, the plastic pretty much lines up with the thickness of the jig head. Again, that jig head's probably a touch large for this bait, but it's all right for the purpose of demonstration. You've got the, uh, the hook pretty much lined up along the center. If you've got the hook poking out the side somewhere, or if it's not lined up centrally, the jig's not gonna swim properly. It's gonna dart around, it's gonna spin, it's, it's just really not gonna look right. You might still catch a fish on it, but uh, that's really the best way to rig these things. Now, I'm just also quickly gonna show you the loop knot to tie the jig head onto your main line. It's, I think it's pretty important to actually use a loop knot because if you use a knot that's fixed onto here, it just doesn't allow the same action in the jig. It's the same with a, a minnow if you're, if you're trolling or casting or whatever. You want to allow the lure to move as freely as you can. All right, we'll just start with a bit of 60 pound mono here. As the name of this knot suggests, we just tie a loop. So it's just a simple granny knot, I guess you'd call it. Just leave a loop in your line there, little tag end. Pass the tag end through the eye of the lure and then move the loop down near the lure and you wanna just hold it here and all you're doing is wrapping the tag end, probably with 60 pound, I'd do it about four times around the main line and then you wanna pass it back through both of the loops that you've made. So this little slot here, back through both of those. Just bring her up tight there. And what you've got, the loop actually locks the, the knot. So essentially you're just left with a nice strong knot 
that uh, gives you a loop onto your lure. Now it is worth mentioning that this knot is not 100%, so if you're using a leader that's a little bit heavier than your main line, uh, it's not going to be a problem, but it's not a 100% knot, but having that loop there is uh, very useful in a lot of fishing situations.